Jeff Probst, previously, on. Survivor. The Morgan tribe was in a slump. After Austin asked to be voted out. He quit. I think there's a big difference between quitting and pulling the trigger. And actually quitting. Probst, the tree tribe, searched for buried treasure with the first piece of their map, but came up empty-handed. Hopefully, get another piece of the map today, so we can get the next clue. Probst, after reward. Challenge, the two tribes battled for new betting. A piece of their treasure map and a chance to loot. The losing tribe. Go. With the help of Rupert's brute strength. The Drake stayed afloat and won their fourth challenge. In a row. Cheering. Making matters worse for Morgan, Lil lost the tribe's last. Fishing hook. Oh, I'm gone for good now. Props, at the immunity challenge, with their end. Michelle hanging in the balance, it came down to a test. Of strength and will between Rupert and Austin. But Rupert held on and secured another Drake victory. Shouting, at tribal council. Morgan chose Dara's strength over the scoutmaster's work. Ethic. And Lil was voted out. Of the tribe. Thirteen are left. Who will be voted out tonight? Who will be voted out tonight? This morning, we had a little This morning, we had a little Bit, uh, higher tides cause there's the storm Out at sea So, it kind of blew our Little fortress wall away It seems like, as a month is going on, the tides are getting higher and higher. So, the wall needs to be bigger and bigger. Otherwise, we're going to need to move our shelter somewhere else, and I really don't want to do that. Put the whole sand wall right across here. We need to just reinforce it. We're in an uphill fight and we have been ever since we got here. It's almost comical now. Think about a double barrier, so we got, you know, right. Here the last wall of defense. We are absolutely devastated. Our morale is low. We, at tribal council last night, voted out Lil. We definitely feel the impact of her not being there. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's ready. Yeah. Dara and T are taking over the, uh, water responsibilities. I think it's us against everything else out here. Against the surf, against the mosquitoes. Against the crabs. This is a crab that we found. Under our bed. They were trying to get us. Last night, from underneath. Against the fire ants. Everything. Are those fire ants? I think they are. There's, like, a log. Where they live and they're being smoked out. And coming out all over our camp. We desperately need fish. The, uh, coconut, rice. And beans, I mean, it's sufficient for now. But we really need just that extra boost. Also, from a morale standpoint, it would be a huge victory. For us to actually catch a fish. John, need any help? For us to actually catch a fish. John, need any help? I filled everyone in on the status of, of the jug all day. Dude, I know, I, and the day before. John, I, I'm not. You knew it had to be done and you want to tell. Everyone else it should have been done, and, and you said, three hours ago, then you could have done it. So, then don't complain about it. I've been doing everything else. That's not my point. Everyone else has been doing. What are you saying? I am, mad, because everyone, else, yeah, we took a rest. Because it's hot today. I know. Are you trying to say you're the only one who does? Something around here? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So then, what's your problem? I'm saying that a little more. Help would be appreciated. I've been working for three hours. This is the first time. I stopped working to complain about it. It's not a big deal. That's the problem. Okay. You know, the mood today. 
has been really funky, I think. It's been really weird. You know, I think people are getting testy. And they're just sort of, you know. We've been out here for 10 days and the personalities are starting to get to one another a little bit. And morale for some reason, today, has been really off and on, and I can't figure out why. You hear what Sean said. This morning that him and Burton are always the first ones to wake up and to do everything? That's a bunch of baloney. Cause they're rarely the first ones up. I woke up happy until I heard that crap. I think because, uh, we've won so many challenges. It's starting to get annoying. Because we really want somebody to leave. Did you go to college, Sean? What's that? Did you go to college? Yes, I did. Did you graduate? Yes, I did. How about yourself? Did you graduate? MM. There's definitely tension. Chris has always had her little issues with me, and, you know, she's made her little comments, things that just get on my nerve. And I've just smiled right through them and not said anything back. But, at the same time, I take note of everything. What you say is going to come back to get you, and in this case, it's coming back to get her. These guys that are here, especially Sean and Michelle and Burton, I just don't get along with them. I don't feel the connection with them. I don't feel like I can speak my mind like I normally can. And I'd rather have them out of here. Dude, just, whatever you do, say no to crack. Laughs. Nothing. Dude. I'll kill you. Some plumbers wear skirts. I'll kill you. Some plumbers wear skirts. Son of a bitch. Snap your neck like a damn chicken. You know, I don't know. I turned around and Burton's pointing at my ass. And laughing at me and just being an idiot. You know, it's like high school. The, the pretty boy jock ass idiots all got. To pick on me. Rupee. 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 You know, you're the prettiest. One in a skirt around here. The whole time we've been. Here, Sean and Burton and Michelle kind of cleaked up. Right away, and, you know, I don't know why they did that. I can only assume that the two guys thought. They were just so strong, that there's no way they were. Going to get put off. And, of course, Michelle's. Adorable, and so they cleaked right into her. But I don't think they realized that they alienated everybody. Else in the tribe. Probst. Drake. Here's your. Else in the tribe. Probst. Drake. Here's your. First look at the new Morgan tribe minus another member. Lil, voted out at the last tribal council. How you guys doing? Great. Props, okay. For today's reward challenge, you're going to be solving a puzzle. There are 16 pieces to the puzzle. Eight are buried in the sand, eight are floating in the water. One tribe member at a time, you're going to retrieve a piece from either the water or the sand in any order you want. Once you have all 16 pieces, the entire tribe can then begin to solve the puzzle. First tribe to finish the puzzle wins reward. Want to know what you're playing for? Yeah. Probst, got something a little different this time to help you out. With your wardrobe, old-fashioned sewing machine, along with a sewing kit, make me a new dress. Probst, we've got all kinds of material. In addition, another piece to the location of your treasure chest. For Drake, it would be your third and final piece. Morgan, it would be your first piece. Finally, the opportunity to loot. One item from the other tribe. Worth playing for? All, yet. Yeah. Props, all right, Drake. Because you have three extra members, you're sitting three people out in this challenge. Who are you sitting out? John, Michelle, Krista, take a spot on the bench. Wait for my go. For reward, survivors ready. Go. Rhino and Burton. Starting out the race. Burton, with his first piece. Heading back in. Way to go, Burton. Props, Burton with the first piece for Drake. Sandra heading to the sand. Dig like your name. Sandra. Props, Sandra gets the first. Piece from the sand. That's two for Drake. Morgan with their first piece of the puzzle. Andrew Savage getting one out of the sand. We're tied up at two pieces. Dara ready with the mask. Tijuana heads out instead, showing a little booty. Oh, nice. Yeah. Probst, skirted man with the third piece for Drake. Trish digging for another one. I can't find it. T. Come on, T. Probst, John with another piece for Drake. That's five for Drake. Burton heads back out. Into the water. Burton. Probst, 
Tijuana having trouble without the mask. Burton with another piece for Drake. Sandra going to the beach. Tijuana with a piece. Struggling to get back now. That's okay. Props, Rupert heading back out for swim. That away, Tijuana. Drake with seven pieces. Morgan at three. Austin heading into the water. Rupert with another piece for Drake. John with another piece for Drake. Burton back out into the water. Put that mask on. It's right below you. I'm about to drown. Probst, are you okay? No. Probst, hold on to the rope right there. I need help. Probst, hey, who's the best? Swimmer. Go give him a hand. I need help. Probst, Austin's in trouble. Give him a hand, Andrew. Austin, you're okay. Hang on. Rupert, go. Props, great teamwork, Morgan. Way to not quit. Drake moving on. With their twelfth piece. Austin safe and sound. Back on shore. Rupert with another piece for. Drake, run back in the water. Let's go. Trish looking for. The last piece in the beach. She's still looking. You guys are in it. Savage going for a beach piece. Trish still struggling. Morgan still fighting. Another piece for Morgan. Dara heading back out. In the water. Dara with another piece for. Morgan, back up. Probst, Tijuana digging for a piece on the beach. Trish going to use a stake to try and find it. Tijuana has another piece for Morgan, fighting to get it out. She has it. Morgan closing the gap at 9. Rhino back out in the water for Morgan. Trish finally has it. Another piece for Drake. That's 11 for Morgan. John stumbling into the water. Morgan with another piece. That's 12 for Morgan. Drake needs one more piece. Burton going in for the last. Piece in the water. Morgan with two in the water. And two on the beach. Dara with her 13th piece. Drake has all 16. Flip them. Start solving. Austin going for the short beach. That's 14. Top of the head. This is a corner. Perfect. That's perfect. Shouting. Rhino still fighting for Morgan. Other way. Other way. Probst, Drake wins reward. Cheering, six challenges in a row. Yeah. Drake members cheering. Let's find out where the hell that devil's fork is. Props, Drake, another piece to the location of. Your buried treasure. Great job. Props, your sewing machine will be delivered. Thank you. Who? All, Drake. All right, let's see. Where we're measuring today. We'll do your waist. Go underneath my hips. You're gonna have a skirt. Two, Rupert. Yes. Let me move all the way around. It's a big belly to move around. You could have made shorts. I don't care, I just want something to cover my ass. I love the sewing machine. We couldn't have gotten. A better reward, and I think Rupert is awesome. He's the only man that I know that would wear a skirt. Out in the middle of nowhere just to be comfortable. And he's the only man I know that would start sewing away. And have no shame. All he has. Is pride in his skills. And I think it's awesome. That he actually knows how to make his own clothes. Hey. Look at this guy over here. Mr. Sewer. What you making? A new dress. Oh, sexy, sexy. You gotta have slots up it. Side. Beautiful work there. When you're done, I got some pants that need hemming. Good for you. You can get right on that. Burton and Sean never leave Rupert alone about his skirt. I mean, don't keep talking about something. That keeps bothering somebody. If you know it bothers somebody. Why don't you just shut up after a while? Look at that, you tied a spring in there and everything. Huh. It's like a mumu. That is awesome. Laughter. Oh, God. How's that feel? Much better. Huh. Much better. I feel lots better. Alright, guys, 
Listen up. The easiest road for you to tread will be to walk up. The old creek bed. After that, they're searching. Still. Take a left at the stump. And head up the hill. Done that. Find the devil's fork and your quest is complete. Go 15 paces due south and it's under your feet. We found it, baby. Cheering. I know where that is, baby. So, after the last reward. Challenge, we finally got our third and final piece of our map. For the treasure chest, and we were just bouncing off. The wall's ready to find it? I'm hoping there's candy. And maybe some canned juice and peaches and pineapples. In there, I don't know. Anything but rice if I see. One more grain of rice, I'm gonna. I'll be upset. I'm gonna go wild. We talk about the treasure. We dream about the treasure, we fantasize about the treasure. Like, I've had more, uh, what dreams about that? That treasure then, uh, than any girl in Playboy. Chuckles, rupee, anything. No. I bet it's here. It's got to be here. It's out all by itself. I don't know, that, to me, looks like a fork out. In the open, to be honest. Why is this not jumping out? Look at this map. Come back here and... Look at this map. We have not found it yet. We're still back to the same dilemma we've been in. The whole time, which is, the directions say. Find the devil's fork. The clues say go 15 paces. Do south. The map shows going 15 paces. Do north, but there's no obvious devil's fork out here. Does that look like a devil's fork to you? If you think of what's in here, there's nothing else. As big and obtrusive as that thing right there. I'm buying that. What? What about over here? It is really soft. Feeling anything? Gasps. Is that it? That seems like wood. Dude, I think this might be it. Look, there's metal, see. Woohoo. Keep digging. Keep digging. I think I got it. We got it. I got it. It's over here. So, show me the devil's fork. It's right there. Right there, baby. At that big tree. Look at it from the other side. Sean, you're a god. Yeah, baby. We've won three challenges. We've gotten three maps. We searched this island. High and low, and here it was. We were standing. On the freaking treasure. Barbecued potato chips. Eight pair of pants. Bacon cheeseburgers. New underpants. I'll be happier. When I see what's in there. Grunting. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Rupert grunts, there is a handle. Where's the handle? What if you can? Just open the top. Is it possible? So, after trying and trying and trying to bring the chest up. They said, okay, the hell with it, screw this. Let's pop the chest open. When they cleared away the lock, just be careful with our key. Don't break it. And finally it popped. Open. Oh. And, oh, my god. A stench so awful. Smelled like death. Someone open this. Should we lay out a blanket and put everything? Oh, god. It smells horrible. Horrible. They're moldy. Everything's moldy and nasty. They're all molded. Hey, it's better than nothing, you guys. Oh, a bottle of something. Yeah. Candy. Candy. Get the candy out. Get the candy out. I have to say the one thing that put a smile on everyone's face and thank god it was in there, was this thing of chocolates. I mean, I don't. I think we would have ripped each other's heads off. If those chocolates weren't in there, because that's how disappointed we were. Rupert, take a break. Everybody sit back and have chocolate. Oh, my god. I'm in heaven. Oh, my god. So, we open it up. There were goblets, candle holders, candles. We got a lot of canned food. There's sugar, there's honey. Sugar. Moldy beef jerky. Some coffee beans, there were some chocolates. Which made everyone feel a lot better. The treasure had leaked a little bit, some of the stuff was wet. And I wanted to say, you guys grow up. You're being babies about it. We got something, and anything. Is better than nothing. The blankets smell like crap. The hammock smells like crap. The mosquito net smells like... Crap. I ID call it a ghetto. Christmas. It's like asking for an... Incredible Hulk doll and... And getting your sister's Ken doll. Painted green. It's just not the same thing. It's a quick shot to the other side here. I've been through here. It's a really thick, thick... Jungle. Then just walk along. The coastline, Rhino and I are going to have... A go at fishing today with the spear because we... Lost all of our fish hooks. So we decided to go on the other side of the island. The big map indicated some dorsal fins indicating sharks or fish, so we thought. 
since we haven't had any luck around here, although we've seen some fish, that we thought the other side of the island may have a multitude of fish. We going the right way? What do you think? I don't know. That looks like an opening down there. See where the light is. Let's have a look. Cool. We're going to make it. I can see the coast. Yep. There is looting this morning for the Drake tribe. And they'll be coming over to take another item. From the Morgan tribe. If they want to cripple us. They'll take our pot. They take our pot. Morgan, as we know it, is no longer, cause there's no longer, we can't cook food, we can't boil water. We'll be dehydrated. End of game. I hate to do this. Whatever. I'm Trish. Hi, Trish, I'm Tijuana. Nice to meet you. Hi, Tijuana. Come on. I feel so bad. Yeah, whatever. I really do. How are you guys doing over there? We're doing okay. Hi, you guys. Hi, I'm Trish. I'm Dara. Nice to meet you. How are you guys doing? You making out okay? Yeah, our boys went to go fishing. Oh, they have? Wow, yeah. What? Not any further down? This is definitely the Blair Witch Project. All right. It could be just a little farther down. Do you realize how dangerous it is to not have water? Yeah. So what do you think you guys are looking for? Um, this is the coolest shelter you have. Thank you. Our tough men put that together. It's nice. Yeah. Um, I guess what they want is the lantern. You guys are gonna take our lantern. I know. I hate it. I was trying to talk them into, like, not taking anything. I was, like, so shot down, man. I was, like, just no way. We're relieved they didn't take our pot, cause that's our only pot, and that's kind of what we were wanting them to take was the lantern. That's what we were wanting them to take last time. We probably ruined it by putting cooking oil in it, so it's probably not going to work. Is that it? Why is the side so choppy? I thought the other side was supposed to be calmer. That's where I think we are. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is not accurate though. Clearly this is not the big cove as indicated on the map. It seems to me we went due east. Pretty much a straight line. We should have hit the cove dead. On end, uh, we didn't, so it's major league. Frustrating for us. We need fish very, very badly. I mean, we don't have any energy. We don't have any water. Phenomenally frustrating. Both me and Savage are done. I mean, we're pretty much burned out. I don't even know how long we've been out here, but, uh, I think the tribe's going to be a little bit upset that we don't, uh, have anything for them. So, last night, I woke up. Have anything for them. So, last night, I woke up. In the middle of the night. Couldn't sleep. I saw that Rupert was up. I'd been meaning to talk to him. I was a little hesitant because he's so gung-ho. On the whole Drake tribe. I've been running every. Single scenario through my head. Yep. Yeah. Because you and I are screwed. You and I are the two toughest of the 16. Right. As soon as there's a merge. The strongest people are going to be the first people to go. I know right now Rupert and myself are the biggest threats. In our tribe. Between John, Trish and Sandra. If they do really start putting it together, hell, yeah, they should get rid of us now. We don't need to win any more immunities. Right. At some point, we should lose. We can do it, but we have to get rid of Krista, and we have to get rid of Trish, and we have to do it soon. Can you do that? If to keep us, to keep this tribe together, yeah, heck, yeah, I can. That's what I wanted to hear. When Bert comes to me and says, we're going to get rid of some of our drakes. As soon as he said that, I wanted to smack him. And say, you know, traitor. If this was a pirate culture. He'd already be dead. If we go to immunity. And we don't win, and we get rid of Krista. We're in a good position. But, God, we've got to get rid of Krista. So this conversation is between you and me. Oh, most definitely. And, as long as no one else knows, we can run the game. Right. Knock. 
knock. Who's there? C male. C male who? C male. Familiar with the game of checkers? Familiar with the game of chess? Heard of professional wrestling? Uh, combined make a worthy. Test. Formulating strategies. Take some time to think. To avoid the next. Tribal council, send your opponent in the drink. In the water, homes. Full contact chess, men. Someone has to be dunked. We are, as a group, thinking. About throwing the challenge. The alliance that I'm with. We're all ready to get Krista out right now. And, therefore, are willing to back off from the challenge. And not give it 100%. My alliance is interested. And not give it 100%. My alliance is interested. In throwing the challenge to cut out a little bit of cancer in our tribe, namely, Burton. In that, I can sit out on the challenge. I already told them that, if I'm in a challenge, there's no way in hell that I would lose. Throwing a challenge is the stupidest thing that Drake could ever do. But will I stand back and let them do it? Yes, if that's what they want to do. Probst, welcome, Drake. Morgan. First things first. Burton, I need the immunity idol. Get that up here. Immunity back up for grabs. Okay. For today's immunity challenge, once again we look. To the world of pirates. Back in the day. When they ruled the seas, it was only a matter of time. Before they wanted to board your ship. And the only way to stop them from doing that was to engage. In battle. Each tribe member will move one. Space at a time across the platform. Your goal, get to the other side. If you are blocked by another tribe member, you will have to engage in a showdown. When two people decide to showdown, it will be a battle of strength and balance. First person to hit the water is out, has to swim back to the beginning, start again. The winner moves forward. One space. The first tribe to get all their tribe members to the other side wins immunity. And, along with immunity, a little something else will save for after the challenge. Alright, Drake, because you have three extra members, you're sitting three people out. You cannot sit the same people out in back-to-back -back challenges. Who's sitting out? Rupert, Trish, Burton. You stay in the boat. Everybody else strategize. Wait for my go. At stake, immunity, and a. Surprise reward for after the challenge. Drake, you want to coin toss. Who's moving first? Sandra makes the first move. First move for Morgan. Austin on the course. Sean. Rhino. Michelle moving out. Onto the course. Andrew makes his first move. A lot of showdowns lining up. T on the course now. With a smile on her face and ready to take somebody on. John saves himself for last. Dara on the board. We have all ten tribe members out. Now it's going to get good. Morgan. Austin challenges Michelle. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you to put one foot in the white. And then, when you both have a foot, I'm going to say, go. Once I say, go, it's on. First person in the water. Is out, and goes back to the start. Here we go. Foot in the white. Go. Screams. Michelle in. Austin doesn't even get wet. Moves forward. Michelle goes back to the start. Got another showdown, Rhino and NYC. Go. Rhino in. Sean doesn't get wet. Sean moves forward. Rhino back to the start. Morgan, got another showdown. Austin challenges John. Go. John takes a bath. Austin moves forward. That is one for Morgan. Take a spot in the Morgan boat. Andrew challenges Michelle. Go. Oh. Close. Wage a good battle, but Michelle's first in the... Water, she's out. Andrew moves into the last spot. And, with that, it's to Morgan, nothing Drake. We have another challenge, Sean taking on T. Go. Yeah. 
T first in. Gave it an effort. Very good. T back to the start. That's one for Drake. Good job, Sean. Props, so, I got to ask at this point. Obviously, it's a strong physical battle and you're two. Two of your strongest guys chose to sit out. Why come? Wasn't my choice. Props, wasn't your choice? You guys have a rotation. That doesn't change. Alright, that works. Drake. Michelle challenges another. Showdown. Rhino moves into the spot. That's three Morgan members, one Drake member. Morgan giving T the chance to take John in. John first in the water. Take a swim back. Krista in the water. Back to the start. Dara moves forward. Dara, you move forward. Sandra takes her last move. And, with that, Sandra's in for Drake. T moves to her last spot. Morgan has their fourth member across. Michelle is in, and off the course. Dara, the only remaining member of Morgan, needs to get in. Here's where we're at. Morgan at four, Drake at three. First try to get all members in wins immunity. Drake, and a little something else. Morgan, just a matter of playing it out now. Drake. Dara, make the only move you can the last move. And, with that, Dara moves in. Morgan wins their first challenge. Morgan wins immunity. Morgan finally on the board. Congratulations. Alright, Morgan, immunity for your tribe. And a little something else. I shall read the note. Choose one tribe member from the opposing tribe. To come live with you until the next challenge. Here's what that means. You are going to choose. A tribe member from Drake right now. They will leave with you right now. They will not go to tribal council tomorrow night. They cannot be voted out. They will participate with you. In the next reward challenge and share in that reward if you win. Who's it going to be, Savage? Rupert. Probst, Rupert, for the next short while you are now going. To be living with Morgan. Out of the boat, into the Morgan. Boat. Rupert, alright, baby. We love you, Rupert. It's all good, baby. It's all good. We love you, Rupert. Love you guys. Hey, it'll only be temporary. Probst, and a nice welcome from Rhino. I think Morgan likes you, Rupert. Here you are, Dara. Morgan, congratulations. Head back to camp, Drake. I will see you. At Tribal Council. We have a lot to talk about. Head out, guys. It was a little scary that... Head out, guys. It was a little scary that... Rupert went away with the other tribe. It was kind of a shocker. And, uh, I got a little nervous. After this immunity challenge, I'm thinking that I could be the next to go. Come on, it's me and you, the macho man versus the little man. I'm thinking that maybe John may go with Michelle, Sean, and Burton, but I highly doubt it. So, I'm going to keep positive thinking and continue to think that he's with Trish, Sandra, and I, even though Rupert's gone. And, Hopefully it will be Burton to go instead of me. The way I see it, the way I see it, John, to be honest with you, there's four of us. Right here. I don't give a who they vote for because there's no previous votes cast. Sandra can go, me. When, when we hear four votes. For Krista, whatever the other three votes are for, you know. That one of those votes were cast by those three people right there. And when they come back here, they're going to know they just sunk their own ship. John claims he's fully on board and, I've got to be honest, all the actions and all the things that John has said have been very consistent over the past week about getting Krista off. You're a little nervous, but once you voted, uh, Krista gone, you know, show your loyalty, we're all cool. We'll carry you to the end. That's, Burton's just worried right now, but he's going to be going like, oh, okay, I, I understand. There is a lot of scheming going on. It's very funny. Some of the things that John comes back and tells, uh, Trish and Sandra and I. Who do they think we're going to vote off Michelle? Tonight? Yeah, yeah. They think Michelle? Yeah. I am somewhat afraid that John could be playing me. Crack it open.
it's just that he is talking. With Sean and Burton and Michelle with such truth in his eyes, and I see it and observe it every day, and he does the same thing to me, and it just makes me feel uneasy. I just wish that he would talk to them a little bit less. Convincingly. Do you want a little sugar? In your drink? Don't drop it, dude. Hey, you need to not drop it. Laughs. Will you? Laughs. I am so stoked to go to Tribal Council. I am stoked. I want to see it. I can't wait. I think it's going to be. Awesome. Ric Flair is voted off the island. Knowing that I'm going nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get funky like a monkey. The game's going great for Johnny Fairplay. I got a one-on-one -on -one alliance with Sean. I got a five-way alliance with myself, Trish, Rupert, Krista and Sandra. And I have a four-way alliance with myself, Sean, Burton and Michelle. He can do the strut, too. He can do the strut twice as fast. I'm having a blast. It's even more fun than I imagined. I'm on paradise, and uh, I'm a... I'm a freaking puppet master. That's all a guy can ask for. Turn around. Turn around. Look at his white hiney. There's, like, this red back and then there's this pure white. Hiney. That's a sight to be had. Right there. Darth Vader. Laughter. Probs. Behind each of you is. A torch. I want you to grab a torch. Approach the flame, dip it and get fire. We do this because fire represents your life in this. Game. As long as you have fire. You're in the game. When your fire's gone, so are. You. Once you have fire, put it in a. Slot and take a seed. For the first time, we have the Drake tribe at Tribal Council, minus Rupert, temporarily a member of the Morgan tribe. So, he can't be voted out. Tonight. John, give me the state of affairs for this tribe. Awesome, 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 awesome. Happy tribe. That's it. Good tribe, couldn't be happier. Props, are you loaded? Yet. Yeah. Laughs, like, you know, this isn't the Happiest of occasions, but you might as well make it as happy as possible. Props, Michelle, any friendships developing 12 days in? Tons of friendships. Everybody's a friend. We've, uh, been through some really strange, wild times. Together, and everybody's kind of keeping an open mind about the situation. And we do come together more than, than I thought we did, so it's hard not to become friends with people. Props, let's talk about yesterday's challenge. I'm still a little confused. A very physical challenge, the first challenge we've had like that. And you sit out Rupert and Burton, two of your strongest guys. And they tell me it's rotation. With immunity at stake. Krista, is that true? Yeah, I think it's only fair. All of us want to have the opportunity to participate. I mean, we only get the chance. One in a lifetime to be out here. Probst, is there a double-edged sword, Burton, too? Being a very successful tribe. The good news is you're not losing anybody. The bad news is you can't get rid of anybody. That's true. It is great to win everything because you avoid immunity. But at the same time you have absolutely no control over the game itself. At some point that can come back to haunt you because if you wanted to send someone home, you wouldn't have the opportunity to. Probs, John, self-proclaimed good strategist, what are you basing your vote on tonight? Um, by whatever the astrological signs tell me. Probs, is that a respectful way to treat somebody that you've lived with for 12 days? Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out in a few minutes. Probst, it is time to vote. Trish, you're up. Whispers you're the biggest threat that we have. We'll see you, buddy. Krista, this is a tough. Tough game, but I'm making strategic decisions. Now, can you dig that, sucker?
Probst, I'll go tally the votes. Probs, once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal. Council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote. Krista. Burton. One vote Burton, one vote. Krista. Krista. That's two votes Krista. Burton. Two votes Burton, two votes Krista. Burton. That's three votes Burton. Two votes Krista. First member of the Drake tribe. Voted out. Burton. That's four votes. That's enough. You need to bring me your torch. Last vote will remain a mystery. Burton, the tribe has spoken. It's time for you to go. Well, there was a lot of talk tonight about one big happy. Tribe. It should be interesting back at camp. Grab your torches. You can head back. Good night. Probst, stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Probst, next time on Survivor. A voting betrayal is exposed. I know what Sean wrote on. His card. My card said Burton. Probst, with Rupert at Morgan, Drake worries. My concern with Rupert is that he's giving away too. Much information about us and not realizing it. Probst, and things are looking up for Morgan. Probably the smartest thing this tribe ever did was get a hold of Rupert. I'm, uh, disappointed beyond. What words could explain? But, being a strategic player, and knowing the threat that I posed in my tribe, I probably would have done what the majority ended up doing. It's going to be a lot harder without me. Uh, challenges are not going to be guaranteed as they were when I was involved. Good luck to those left, and I'll see you on the other side.